as a creator and someone who uses his PC for basically everything in my life, having a stream deck seemed like a very appealing idea. Just the thought of having this like programmable control panel where I could click a button and certain things are automated in my workflow, it sounded very up my alley. I'm all about automation. So a couple years ago, I got a stream deck, but what I quickly realized and that other people online also talk about now is that with a stream deck, you're very limited to the apps that are available through Elgato. Like I don't have that many apps installed, but you can see you can just pretty much use Twitch, some voice changing stuff. Like there's more apps than this, but there's really not that many. You're able to control your Elgato lights if you have one of those expensive Elgato lights, but compared to the Amazon version, they're super expensive. Like I don't wanna spend triple the amount on a light just because it's Elgato and I can control it with my Stream Deck. That doesn't sound very wise to me. Like this is my lighting setup. I have nine different lights and none of them are Elgato and I don't plan on changing them anytime soon. I film multiple times a week. So when I turn these lights on and off, I have to do it manually. Nine times on, nine times off, it adds up. So I wanted to find a way to press one button on my Stream Deck and turn on all of my lights because with the available software, I couldn't do it. And in the process of figuring this out, I actually found a way to control anything with your Stream Deck. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. My name is Vic, founder of Laranja Digital. It's my creative agency. If you want more tutorials on how to take your creative game to the next level, subscribe to this channel. So this is the Casa Smart Plug. These are basically the cheapest smart plugs that I could find on Amazon. And you can see I've purchased this three times. I think I have like 12 of these things, but I have them all over my house and all over my office. I'm gonna put this Amazon link in the description, it's an affiliate link. So if you buy it through me, I get a little kickback. That'd be awesome. These are cheap. They get the job done. They work with Alexa through voice. My Alexa is listening now that I said her name, but they also have the ability to be controlled by your stream deck. But let, let me caveat this. It doesn't come that way. You have to use this workaround that I've created. So unfortunately this workaround only works for Windows. I have not done this for Mac. I've not even tried. So there might not be a Mac solution for this. If you're on Mac, I'm sorry, but I know there is a Windows solution. If you're a Windows user, you are in luck. So first thing you're gonna need obviously is your Stream Deck, the Stream Deck software, a Casa smart plug or a bunch of Casa smart plugs. You will need the Casa mobile app, as you can see and you'll need these smart plugs to be set up on the app. So go through the installation of the Casa smart plug before you even watch this video. But please write down your login information that you sign up to the Casa app with. That's going to be crucial in setting all of this up. So the Stream Deck software doesn't allow you to use external apps, but the one thing that it allows you to do is open files. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Because what you can do is create an executable file just by writing a little script in your notepad that connects to your command line and controls anything that is controllable through your command line. The initial problem is that out of the box, these Casa smart plugs are not controllable from your command line. So we have to fix that. And in my research, I found this little app on the Microsoft store, it's called Casa Smart Control. And essentially what Casa Smart Control does is it allows you to connect your Casa login information to your computer's command line. So you can actually write scripts on your computer that connect to your Casa devices. The link for this is again in the description. I have no idea who made this app and I'm not affiliated. So once you install this on your computer, you use your Casa credentials to log into the app. This is what it looks like once you're logged in. These are all of my devices and it actually looks like I have 12. And yes, we can turn things on and off here manually, but we don't want it. We actually wanna write a script to do it for us. Now I cannot code, I cannot write a script, but my good friend ChatGPT can. So me and ChatGPT put our heads together and we wrote a script that works. It works perfectly fine. I'm gonna give it to you completely for free. It's not some sus script that's gonna hack you or anything. 
You can even send it to your programming buddy to double check. I'm just giving it to you for free. There's gonna be a Google Docs link below. Just take that as your template and, and use it. So right above me is my folder on my computer where I keep all of my automation files. These are these executable files that contain the scripts. And then right over here, I have one of the scripts that is actually fully functional. Now I've blurred out my credentials, but you actually need to put your CASA credentials here in order to access the CASA database. I believe that's how it works. And then push the information through your command line to the CASA database. And then the next part here is actually assigning each of your plugs, the, the names with a device number. So right here, I have set device one as my floor two blue lights. Those are the two blue lights on the floor that make my wall blue. It's actually a white wall, believe it or not. And you can see I've done that with all of the different lights I want to control with this script. The next thing that you need to adjust is whether you want to turn the lights on or off. So that's what this section is right here. It pulls the set device and then you tell it on or off and it will do this actually in sequence for you. So you'll have to just copy and paste the different parts of this and replace the names and make sure everything is spelled properly. Then you actually wanna save the notepad in a specific way to make this an executable file. So once I'm happy with this script and I wanna give it a go, I'm gonna to go to file, save as, and then I'm actually going to save this as a .bat file. That is a batch file, it is an executable, it's going to run this text as a program. Okay, so now we've set up the plug, we have given it a connection through our command line, we've written the automation script, and all we have to do is install it into our Stream Deck. Okay, so I'm in my Stream Deck software, I've just gone to the second page, I'm gonna click on an empty button here, and then I'm going to search for open. And system open will come up, I'll just drag this open here, and then what I can do is hit this little file button. And then all I have to do is choose the batch file that I want to run. When I press that button, hit open, and there we go. I've set it. So when you actually click on the button, it takes a couple seconds for it to fire off. I think because it has to connect to the CASA database and then send the information and then send the signal back. And also the way that you list the lights, it'll fire off in sequence. So you'll hear it go one, two, three, four, five. But the delay isn't that bad. It maybe takes three seconds to turn these lights on. And if you have a lot of lights or a lot of devices, this is so helpful. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you want more videos like this, Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.